how to jailbreak your Apple TV 4. What is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak the fourth generation Apple TV. First thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to settings, general, about, and check your tvOS version. Here it's 9.0. This only works with tvOS 9.0 and 9.0.1. If your Apple TV isn't running one of those versions, you cannot jailbreak. You'll have to buy a new Apple TV and hope that it has the old software on it. You also wanna go in and turn off automatic updates so it doesn't update to a new version of tvOS because that would be bad. Also, you wanna notate your IP address. We'll talk about that later. That's gonna allow us to SSH into our Apple TV. Now, speaking of SSH, that is the only tool that's available initially. There is no Cydia or any sort of GUI interface that you're gonna be able to enjoy. So this is mainly geared towards developers, although you can expect a lot of tools and things to come down the pipeline soon. Now, another important thing to mention is that you will need a USB Type-C cable to connect your Apple TV to your Mac. You can buy that USB Type-C cable cheaply from Amazon. I'll have a link in the description. Okay, now let me tell you some things you're gonna need. First of all, you're gonna need the Pongu jailbreak tool for Apple TV. It's 1.0 right now. You can download that from pongu.io. We'll have the link on the post on 9to5Mac. You wanna save that to your desktop. All right, so we're just gonna select desktop and save. All right, so now we want to download Xcode. Now you probably actually wanna do this first because it takes forever to download. Hopefully you already have it, but go ahead and download Xcode from the Mac App Store. That is a free download. And lastly, we wanna download iOS App Signer. Again, you wanna save this to your desktop. I'll have a link to it in the post on 9to5Mac. All right, so let's just save that to our desktop. All right, so I think that's all the stuff we need to get started now. Let's get this show on the road. It's gonna take a little while to download the Pongu tool here because it's so popular right now, but it should be fast for you. Now let's go ahead and launch Xcode and get started because this is really where it all happens, folks. So we're gonna launch Xcode. Now you will need an Apple ID with sideloading privileges and you can get that by going to developer.apple.com and going into the member center and then basically linking your Apple ID and agreeing to the terms. But basically you wanna go in and add that Apple ID into Xcode, into the accounts under the Xcode preferences. And you can, like I said, go to Member Center on Apple's developer page, log in with your Apple ID or create an Apple ID if you don't have one, then sign in here, and then you'll be able to agree to terms, which gives you um, sideloading privileges. It isn't a paid account, but it does allow you to do what we need to do here. All right, so I have my account logged into Xcode. Now I can just close out of the account section now we're going to want to go back to Xcode. We want to go to File, and we want to go to New. And then when we go to New, we want to select Project. All right, so you want to select Application under tvOS, and then choose Single View Application and click Next. And then for product name, I'm just going to put Jailbreak. Organization name, you can just put your name. Organization identifier, you can put something like com.test.jailbreak. And then leave everything else the same. Then click Next, and then you just wanna click create. You can leave everything else as is. You can leave it as desktop if it is. Click create. All right, now you're gonna see this screen here. Now what you wanna do is click where it says product and then click destination and select your Apple TV. It may say OS version lower than deployment target. That's fine. This is assuming your Apple TV is connected with the USB Type-C cable. Choose 9.0 for deployment target to clear up that little error. And now we wanna select under team the Apple ID that we linked under the accounts and preferences, and then click fix issue. It's gonna resolve the code signing issues, and now our screen should look like this. All right, so we're almost there, folks. So now we can just minimize Xcode. We'll come back to it later. Now we're gonna focus our attention on the Pongu jailbreak in the iOS App Signer app. So let's just extract both if you haven't done so already. So there's Pongu, and here is iOS App Signer. Now let's just open up iOS App Signer Click open. All right, now input file. You wanna click browse here. And then you wanna to browse to your desktop and select the Pongu folder that we extracted. Select payload and select ATV IPA. Click open. All right, and then signing certificate. You wanna choose your Apple ID. And then in provisioning profile, we wanna select the one we just created, the bundle ID, the com.test.jailbreak3, at least for me, may be a little different for you depending on how you named it, select that. All right, and then click start. 
And then for save as, you wanna just keep it as is, ATV IPA. Choose the location though, change that to desktop, and then click save. All right, so it's packaging the IPA. Now it's created that IPA, which is right on your desktop. So we can close out of iOS App Signer now. And now let's just open up Xcode again. And then we wanna to go to Window, and then go to Devices, and then click your Apple TV, and then click the little plus sign right under Installed Apps, and then select your IPA file that you just created. There we go, click Open. Now it's deploying that Pongu jailbreak tool to the Apple TV, just like this. So now, guess what? All you need to do is launch this app to jailbreak your Apple TV. Super simple, super easy. This only takes a second. Jailbreak successful. All right, so we can get out of this by hitting menu on the Siri remote. And now we can actually log in or SSH into our Apple TV now. I'm gonna open up a terminal, type SSH space root at, and then your Wi-Fi IP address, put the password in, which is Alpine. And now you can see I'm browsing the Apple TV's file structure. So ladies and gentlemen, if you appreciated this post, please subscribe to our channel and also give me a like and also visit the post on 9to5Mac for more details and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.